Hello everyone, and it's none other than the world's finest VTuber, golfer, and I don't know what to call myself. This is, you know, it's whatever. Today we're going to show you the masterclass, my masterclass of how do I play golf on Nintendo Switch Sports. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. This uh, channel, this video is going to be recorded on both the main channel for all of my hodgepodge content as well as freddy j sports a channel strictly for sports content whatsoever so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to go play locally so that way you can get a view of you know what kind of courses you know you will have um what we're going to do is we're going to go to golf and let's let's start with actually let's start actually with you know Let's go three holes. Uh, let's go to the classic. Start with the B. Let's let's start with that right there. I think that's a perfect opportunity to be like, yeah, let's you know, you know, just start with the beginner series and then we can go up there. Cause you know, honestly, as much as we can. We would like, you know, for these holes to be the ones that we get on when we play online against the world. That may not be the case when, you know, you're you're playing. You might get some of the harder ones. But let's start. Let's take baby steps. Let's take baby steps. Okay. Let's take baby steps and then go from there. This is what I'm going to be wearing because uh, I like this outfit. You know, it, it looks kind of fire. You know. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, look, look at this drip. <laughs> this wasn't even actually my original uh, form, it was just like one of the ones I, I, I just chose, so. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna be uh, dealing with that, for the most part. And yeah, let's see. Also, don't stand too close to the television. Alright, so we got a, few, a little bit of win here. I actually haven't played this, this is hole 10, a par 4. Seems like it's straight down the middle, but this wind, this wind will become an issue. So you're going to have to pay attention to that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Here we are, stroke one. All right, so the wind is going right to left on our screen. So if I were to, um, if I were to just hit it from where it is right now, uh, it'll most likely either be in the sand or in the rough um on here on this left side uh because we don't have the capabilities of seeing where it will land uh we're you know we're just gonna look at our map that y'all can barely see on my side my side of the screen right here y'all can see it yeah so that's where we're gonna aim it we're gonna aim for that tree over there because it's not gonna hit the tree due to the wind due to the wind going that way you know back you know the other way uh, that will be, you know, something we have to look at. So because of that, we're going to, you know, aim for the tree. It's going to drift back. Hopefully not too much where it still hits, you know, the thing. So going to make sure we calibrate. Make sure we calibrate. Uh, forgive me if uh, I look weird on the screen. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much doing this in real life right now. Right. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Nice shot. Look at that, right there. And that should be right down the middle, probably be on the dark green stripe. Look at that. Look at that. Excellent shot. 102 yards away. Alright, so now we have a better shot. Um of the green uh so what i like to do here we have a nine iron now if we were to hit this nine iron as is it will probably bounce close to the hole but you know it'll end up being a little bit far so what i would like to do is i would like instead of taking a full swing back you know instead of taking a full swing back i like to cut it right here and then stop cut it right here around because you see that little white bead right there? The white bead that's currently right where my chin is? Yeah, 
that one is going to be a little bit you know it's going to bounce there it's going to be a little bit so you have to like gauge you know your meter a little bit gauge your meter so that way you know you don't hit it too much too far but you also want to leave it too short where you have to chip in because chipping is you know i've made a few chip in shots but you know i've also missed a few chip in shots like you know sometimes i'll overshoot it even though i don't even try to so that can happen so you don't want to you know undershoot it at all you want to try to get this thing on the green as close as possible and go from there so what i'm going to do um the wind may also come into factor a little bit due to it being 11 miles per hour so i'm going to also take that into account not as much as before you know i'll i'll take the heat if it does but what i'm going to do is make sure that you know it doesn't get a lot of elevation so that way that is an issue so what i'm going to do right here make sure i calibrate my club I'm gonna go halfway I'm gonna go halfway Stop at mid swing. Oh, that was a little bit off. So this one's gonna be, yeah, we got, and that's what I was talking about. You don't want to hit it too short. So now we're gonna have to chip in. All right. Uh, it's two beads to the hole. But hey, one good note though, I will say, we've aimed correctly in regards of having it straight. You know, towards you know the wind did drift a little bit. So that is good. Remember that, you know, when you have another course like this where, you know, it's 11 miles, it will drift a little bit. So it's not going to drift as much with the driver since, you know, it's not, you know, high elevating, but it will drift with a 9-iron. All right, so what I'm going to do right here, since it's going to be a low shot, um, I'm going to also look at the terrain. It's going to be going uh, uphill a little bit. So um, I want to make sure that, you know, I take that in count. It's not going to move as much, but what I'm going to do is I will I will put it right there. I'm not going to aim for the second bead. What I'm going to do is go halfway. Look at that shot. Look at that shot. Put a little bit of backspin on it, and this should be an easy par putt from here. All right, so this par putt, putting is going to be, you know, the thing that lives or dies with you. So if you have a good putt, you know, that can really help you a lot because, you know, you can miss the fairway, you can hit the rough, you can hit the sand, but, you know, if you don't get that putt in one, you know, or two strokes, it can be a nightmare. So, you know, granted you want to get everything right in the first time, but putting is one of the things that really matters a lot. So because this doesn't take a lot of, you know, it's only six feet, so you don't want to hit this thing all the way over, but you don't want to, you know underestimate it too so i'm doing a little practice strokes knock it in for par yeah it took a long time but you don't want to be complacent despite it being a six foot putt you can miss six foot putts and then people will be looking at you weirdly and i don't want to deal with that so you know i'll i'll take whatever you know i can in order to make sure that i get that putt in All right, so here's the 11th hole of Classic A. It's a par 3, you know. So that means this is a very critical this is a very critical uh, attempt right here because what you got to do is you got to land it on the green in the first stroke. In the first stroke, excuse me. And then you know, then you go here. So, as you can see, 136 yards. It will land just barely on the green but also at the same time that's your seven iron and it's nine miles in your face it went slapping you in the face so there will be a little bit of resistance i could go with the five iron here but that's also you know if i try to go full five iron that is also a big risk so we're gonna see what happens when you risk a five iron over a seven iron on this course all right so nine miles back what you're going to do is, you know, I see that we don't need, we don't need to aim all the way to the golden, you know, the sweet spot for a full swing. What I'm probably going to do is go right there in the middle, if not um, a little bit less, because, you know, I want to take an account for the wind, even though the wind, even though if the wind 
doesn't affect i still want to take account for it because i know that will be a factor you know later on you know especially when you're doing the contest you know for survival golf so that's what i want to do all right so what i'm going to do make sure you relax now i mean at the end of the day this is all just a video game having fun but you know still me you know being competitive as i am world's finest losing is not an option regular freddy will say yeah it's just a game but me you know i'm the greatest of all time I i'll say otherwise you know what i'm saying plain and simple all right slow to gauge your meter and that one might be a little bit slower because i didn't do a full swing and so now we're in the sand all right so improv now because we're in the sand this is a great training moment this is a great training moment i'll tell you so you're in the sand you're gonna lose a lot of your full yardage so what you're gonna do is account for that all right so two beads will get us to the hole however you don't want to trust that but also you don't want to take a full swing because of the sheer fact of hey you'll still overshoot and if you go all the way up here you know guarantee you if you try to go all the way down you're, you're gonna have a wobbly shot so you don't want to you know do that so I'm gonna reset my stance look at that right there yeah that overshoots but look at this backspin though that's what happens when you cut off the you know the shot at the you know at the you know bottom and so now this one's gonna be a good par let's look at it um a little bit downhill i think it being 11 feet might be a issue but uh let's see what happens here there we go knock it in there's not a lot of room for error so you you know putting is something you're gonna have to practice on uh, you know, especially if, you, if you're going to try to do this, if you're going to try to go online and compete with other people all around the world, you definitely want to have, you, you definitely want to have it so that way you're able to, you know, practice locally first before, you know, I mean, granted, you're not going to necessarily embarrass yourself, but like, you know, if you're live streaming this like me and you're, you, you're a self-proclaimed, you know, the world's finest or whatever, you don't want to miss, you know, close shots. You don't want to miss any shots mind you but you know still you <laughs> practice perfect practice makes perfect perfect practice makes perfect i'm doing this all in one take but you know i had one of my supervisors tell me that when i used to work at a you know uh in a uh, sports department in the golf section so yeah shout out to you all right, so now we're going to our final hole. I believe this one is going to be a uh, par five. Yes. All right, so a par five is a great opportunity for you to be able to catch up on any missing birdies. Maybe you bogeyed, you know, on the par three. This is a great chance to redeem yourself. As long as you make sure you hit your greens in regulation, or maybe even under, that'd be a great point. Now, this one right here was an interesting one because I found out a secret hack on this course where you know you could actually do a lot better than you know what i expected so here we are right now we're lined up for a dog leg where you know the ball you know the course is going to turn to the left right you see it you see it turning to the left right here however i didn't realize this until i started playing online if you turn right here there's a piece of fairway you can actually land on to take a shortcut. I didn't even know that until, you know, like a several games on. So, like, you could land it right there depending on where the wind is. And, you know, you could just easily just hit that right there as long as you land on that fairway because the rest of that is out of bounds. If you, you know, so that's high risk, high reward, you know, as long as you hit your shots. But right here, you know, you definitely want to hit this. So I'm going to take a full swing since, you know, the wind at being at four miles per hour is not going to do anything. 
You know, it, it's not going to touch your ball. Nice shot. nice shot indeed. Look at this right here. A little bit of bounce. We're on the fairway. Now it's 211 yards to go. Here's our second stroke. And this is a great opportunity. If you land this right on it, if you land this right on it, it's a little bit downhill, but uh, I'm not going to hit the full spoon shot right here. So I'm going to probably hit a little bit lower, but not too much where, you know, before, because I have been overshooting it lately. So I'm going to hit it right here. That one's going a little bit to the right because I didn't, you know, I wasn't complacent. Or I was complacent. And now that's in the rough. But it's okay. We don't necessarily need to go for eagle. But, you know, if we were on the green, you know, we would have a putting... We have a good shot at putting for eagle. So, you know, we could still get on the green and make birdie here. As long as we have a good shot here. So, this is what we're going to do. Alright? 39 yards ago. We're going to zoom in. Uh, going to look at our terrain. It's going to be a little bit uphill. Uh... I'm going to aim right here, because it's going right to left. You know, the ball, the hill is going right to left. I can see that when, you know, the green being the high points and, the you know, the dark green it being the low points, that's something, you know, you also want to look at in regards to the slope or how it rolls. So when you hit it at, if you try to aim for the hole, like straight up, like up and down right at the flag stick, it's not going to be at the flag stick. That's something I learned playing PJ Tour uh, Tiger Woods 2004. Uh, when I first started playing out, I was just like, all right, let me just hit it right at the hole. And I was wondering, why is it not going directly at the hole? I hit it there. Why is it not going? It's because you have to account for how the ball is. You got to have to account for what the, you know, the ground looks like. If, you know, if it's a high slope, it's going to, you know, be a little bit tougher to get up that hill. If it's going left or right, it's going to bounce and then it'll drift to the left. So that's something you will have to look at and take account for. All right, so right here, um, it's going to be more than two beads. Look at that right there. Look at that. Excellent. I'll have a little backspin right there, but that's, you know, that's pretty much, you know, for safety in case I overshoot it. Because that has been happening a few times. Alright, so we're going to look at the terrain. It's still got a little slope. 13 feet. This one's literally right at it. For birdie. I was a little bit close. We overshot it a little bit, but it, you know, hopped back up and we got, you know, got the birdie. So... Personal best right there. And, um, yeah. Minus one. So now that we have that underway, let's try to compete online with, um, some of what we have. Some of what we learned. Alright, here we are. Live at Spoko Square. Times three multiply everywhere. I think that's pretty cool. But, we're only going to do golf. So, a little thing um, for those who didn't know. Uh, we're currently in Season 5 of what we're now calling the Final Fredacy. Uh This is actually the new um, entitled golfer version of Freddy. Where, you know... Got a little blonde in my hair now. So, here we are at Classic 14... I believe it's a par five, top five out of eight will advance. Oh my goodness, the wind is 33 miles per hour. Yeah, this is not going to go as far as we want it. So we're just going to have to do as best as we can, cut down this yardage without getting into the rough. All right, so I'm going to aim right at the bunker. I know it's not going to hit at the bunker, but all I want is to make sure it doesn't hit any of the tall grass. Nice shot. All right, so this one is going to be... It's going to bounce on the rough, but I think it's going to kick. Yep, that's going to be a good kick. And then we'll be on the fairway. 
being on the fairway is your friend in these situations because, you know, the wind is going to be tough. Uh, we're going to have to hit our driver again with the wind. So I'm going to actually aim out of bounds just a little bit, knowing that it's not going to be out of bounds. So hopefully that will, you know, drift back to the right towards the hole. I didn't get all of it, but um, I think that will actually be... Oh, that's going to be close. Oh my goodness, what a hop. What a hop. That is going to be as best as we can do right there. So we almost had a great shot. We almost had a shot that we're laying on the green so we could putt this. We're off the green just a little bit, but we still have the opportunity to, you know, go whatever we can with this. You know what I'm saying? So don't count us out yet. All right. I know we have to work on our speed as well. Uh, so it's on a hill. We could actually aim straight at it if we want. All right. Just needs one bead. I overshot it, and that might punish us. Yep, that was a way too much right there. That's what I was talking about, how sometimes I'll overshoot it. This is a chance for birdie now. And this is a long putt. Uh, it's going left to right. Uh, two and a half beads on here. So we're just going to have to get our pace down. I think we're the last one on the course. <laughs> it's kind of nerve-wracking, but, you know, I want to make sure I get this right. Oh, look at that. What a nice... That was nice speed right there to get that birdie. And that was from a that was from a far away distance. I'm, you know, that's a little bit uncomfortable right there. That's a little bit of an uncomfortable distance. But, you know, we able to read the putt. I was very iffy on how much power I wanted to use. We didn't even get the power that I wanted. But it's okay. Uh, so a lot of people made birdie here. Um, about five people. Ooh, like almost everybody got birdie. So that so that's good. That's good for us, you know, that, you know, we didn't do anything less than that. But here we are, Class of B. This is hole 15, par 4. Now, this is very important for us to make sure that, you know, we make sure we keep our nose clean because the top five out of eight will advance. And if we're outside that top five, that's not going to be good for, you know, the recording. So here we go. Uh, when died down a lot but you know i want to make sure because you know there's rough right there i want to make sure i hit it good enough so that way it doesn't bounce because i hit it too far so i'm gonna take the safe bet hit this shot right here nice shot. i didn't get all of it so that might also help the cause All right, because I didn't aim all the way to the right, because I didn't aim all the way to the right, that is going to affect how much, you know, more I have to put down. I see now it's 115 yards. I could have got closer. If I got closer to uh, where this one person is in front of me, then I would have probably had to use a different club, and that would have been fine. But, you know, now, you know, using a longer club is going to be very uh, tricky right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my lucky 7-iron. Uh, I'm going to go halfway uh, in between a full swing so that way I can get, you know, kind of where I need to be in regards to, you know, the putt. Oh, no, it wobbled a little bit. That one's going to actually overshoot. I did get a little bit of backswing, but, you know, because I overshot it, you know, uh, I'm off the green. All right, so now um, there's a hill right in front of me. Um, it will slope down. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to only hit one beat. And that's what I was talking about. I'll overshoot it for some reason. And, uh, yeah, that's going to cost me a stroke right here. Uh, so instead of going for, uh, you know, I am going to be looking at a bogey attempt if I don't hole out right here. So let's see what we can do. And hopefully uh, we can fix that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. What did I tell you? <laughs> I had to chip it in, and that's what I did. Look at this shot right here. 
Nice bounce, nice angle, and everything. Simply put, one of the greatest uh, recoveries. Uh, let's see how that affects us on the scoreboard. I'm the last one to complete this, you know, because I'm also talking to y'all. Like, this isn't normally what we do uh, when I'm streaming. Uh, I stream on the Twitch channel, uh, Twitch .freddy, uh, twitch.tv slash freddyvt. As we head on to the semifinals. Uh, fourth place, we dropped the shot, you know, but it's fine. It could have been a lot worse. All right, so here you are at Classic C, part, hole 17, part 3. I will tell you this. This is, like, one of the hardest holes for me because it's hard to, you know, gauge what club to use. Because most of the time, I'm short, and sometimes I'll overshoot. This time, the win is in our favor. I'm going to go ahead and use the spoon. It is uphill. And see, this is my fault right here. I hit the... I, I didn't hit a full swing, and that's what caused me to miss that. Alright, so... I got a good spot. But, you know, this is now for par... And once again, we're off the green on the fringe. And so we're going to now deal with uh, an opportunity I wasn't bad. I was just scared to, you know, not hit the ball. Nice putt. We got a double bogey from that. So we got a lot of work we got to do. That's one of the holes that, you know, I will say is one of the holes that, like, hey, I wanted to talk about because, you know, that will be in another class where we're like, hey, what happened here? And let's go and fix it. So we're outside the top three. Because remember, the top three out of five will advance to the finals. And I'm actually dead last. So I need to really pull something together. Especially if, you know, the first place had three birdies in a row. Here we are at Classic uh, C's Hole 18, Par 5. This is a great opportunity to get an eagle and change the trajectory of where you are. Because the eagle right now would really help us out. But won't help us out here is some bad wind. And luckily, we don't, but I'm going to go for it because I have nothing else to lose. I either be dead last or, you know, granted, other people could, you know be like yo they might fumble they're not gonna fumble i gotta play my own own game and my own game is just hitting this thing and doing the best i can to become the greatest of all time nice shot hard walk hard work pays off 182 yards left Alright, so I'm not the only one that decided to go over here, so that might uh, affect our trajectory. Nice shot. Alright, let's see if this bounce is good. Oh my goodness, wow. I can't believe that punished me. <laughs> that hit the stick and it sent me flying. Oh, wow. I can't believe I was that short from an eagle. Granted, I could have had me an albatross. But hey, it's fine. It It's fine. That was a great... That was fun. You know, you know even though we may not make the cut, but it, it, it will be important for us to, you know, talk about for the next episode. 
Uh, so make sure y'all will stay tuned for that. Uh, meanwhile, we got to wait for this person to finish their shot. They did. They got a birdie. Well done. I believe because of that, that's going to, you know, reduce our chances of going in. Because, uh, yeah, everyone did well on that hole. Yeah, we, yeah, we wasn't going anywhere. I think someone actually did get an albatross on that, so good for them. Uh, so, we don't make the cut. That's fine. You know, it's great. It's a great lesson for the next time you do play. Uh, so we're we're not gonna watch this. We don't we don't really care about them. Thirty-one points is not bad. Not bad. So coming up on the next time when we do play, we will be uh, doing more of this. So make sure if you like the content and want to comment, any questions or whatnot, feel free to ask me. I enjoy it. I will uh, send some more clips out. And uh, thank you so much for everybody for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time.